Hello everyone. I will be doing uh, chapter 10.1 to 10.2 review. Here we go. So let's review AM. So what are some activities that you can do before 12 p.m. noon? Eat breakfast. Think of some out loud. I may not have them on here, but just think about it. Taking the bus to school happens in the AM. Brushing your teeth before school and getting dressed before school. All happens in the AM, even when you're at home besides taking the bus. So how about PM? Let's see, after 12 PM noon, so the afternoon and night. Doing your homework, eating lunch, playing video games after finishing your homework, eat dinner, putting on your pajamas, and going to sleep, of course. So noon and midnight. Noon is 12 o'clock during the day. So if I have lunch at noon, it's during the day. And midnight, 12 o'clock during the night. Should be asleep at this time. They both look the same on an analog clock. So notice here how 12, both hands are pointing at the 12. That will happen at noon during the day and midnight. So what is an analog clock again? It has moving hands that mark the hour, minute, and seconds. It is just like the clocks that we have in our classroom. Maybe you have one, I have one in my kitchen, like on a clock tower and on a watch. But if we think about it, not all watches show an analog clock. I can think of one person in our class who does not wear an analog clock watch, and it is Shailene. She wears a digital clock watch, and it shows the time in numbers. Usually shows AM and PM. So just like this one, it's a little more complicated, but you see here, there's the time, and that little P means PM. And here we go. Digital clock that you might find on someone's bedside at, on their nightstand shows 3.45 PM. So now please get a piece of loose leaf paper or scrap paper and a pencil. And I would like you to write down the time that each clock shows. I did number one for you. So as you can see here, the shorthand or the hour hand is between the four and five. And the lowest number, like he was saying, the one that's before is four. So that goes here. And the longer hand, which is the minute hand, is right after the five. We have to count around the clock. Let me see, can I annotate it? This is new for me. Let me see, draw. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. And like he said in the video, 30 would be too much because the minute hand is not pointed to the 30. So we're at 25, now we have to count each notch or a little tick mark. So 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So we know the time is 4:29. Don't worry about AM and PM for this. It's just to see if you can figure out what time an analog clock shows. So now on your loose leaf paper, number it number one. I already wrote 4:29, so add that as number one. And now put number two and figure out what time it is on this clock. And the same thing with this one. I would like you to pause this video as you work on these two problems and then move on, press play when you're ready to move on. Okay, so pause it now to do two and three. Okay, we are moving on to four, five, and six. Oh, I have to erase that stuff. Clear all, okay. This is pretty cool. Just found this out. Okay, so please pause this video right here and label your questions four, five, and six on loose leaf and figure out the time for each clock. Four, five, and six. Pause this video here. All right, so if you've unpaused, I'm assuming you've finished doing four, five, and six. Let's move on. Seven, eight, and nine, same thing. Pause the video here, write down the time and then move on. 
All right, three more and then you're done. 10, 11, and 12, pause the video here. All right, here's your answer key. Check your work. Give yourself a big check for each one that you got right. Good job. If you got more than half right, that is awesome. Now this is a helpful resource for more practice. So I don't think you'll be able to click on a link because this is a uh, video that you'll be playing on your computer. So you can Google math is fun. And I'm sure if you type in time clocks or analog clock after math is fun, the little resource will pop up. It is a clock that you can play with on the computer that you can move. And I would like you to play around with the clock just for fun and then try setting the analog clock to these different times. So if you pause this here and then you open on Google and you type in math is fun, time clocks, it should come up. It, was, it will probably be one of the first links and then you can play around with the analog clock for fun and try these for yourself. All right, I'm pretty sure that is it. Yep, thank you for watching.